This is a $130 million yacht. And the next yacht we're going on is absolutely priceless. When was this built? Do you have any idea? In the 1500s. The f no, is it really built in the 1500s? Because we were talking about this, that it sounds like there's an engine on board. And if there's an engine on board, then obviously there has to be some sort of reconstruction in here. The rope and everything. 1500s. This is actually the first time I've ever come on board a, a ship like this. I feel like I should have dressed up like Captain Jack Sparrow. I don't know if we're allowed to, are we allowed to touch everything. I feel like it's breaking this. <laughs> if you compare this to all the other yachts, Imagine having a party on here. Uh, Josh is a pirate ship, not a yacht. Okay, pirate ship, yacht, same thing. In terms of height though, there are a few uh, hazards uh, all around here. You don't want to be too tall. It's a Swedish boat. It's called the Gusseberg, which I think is a place in Sweden. Ollie, go down there, don't fall. This is the gun deck. Actually, the vibes in here are pretty cool. Uh, I think this this goes up and down, let's see. Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know how comfortable I'd feel with like my my yacht being next to this one with cannons facing towards it. So people actually live on this yacht. Let me check this out. It feels like a ride at Disney World in a way. Captain Barbose. Yeah. Uh, Barbose. Barbose. Yeah, Bose. Bose. Captain Barbose. All right. I think about 60 people just came out of downstairs. That's a lot of people to fit down there. Oh, she's stuck. Wait, you're, <laughs> you're stuck on the uh, here. Thank you. I will say this. It's not handicap friendly, this tour. We won't be seeing any wheelchairs on board, that's for sure. Oh, God. Imagine this in high seas. That's the anchor, isn't it? I think so. Pirates of the Caribbean, they were doing, they were turning that thing. Oh yes, I remember Jack Sparrow having one of these. Imagine having to climb up all this. Can you pronounce Luke? Gutenberg. Gutenberg. I think as I say. I think it's Gothenburg. No, isn't that the place in Sweden? In Sweden? Gothenburg? Probably is where it's constructed. That's how Swedish sounds, isn't it? You know how you know how Do you know how Pray you do. You can't put that on. <laughs> that's, how, that's how Swedish sounds. Yeah, no, it's like this. Hurdy gurdy gurdy. No, it's not hurdy gurdy gurdy. Hurdy gurdy gurdy. Hurdy gurdy gurdy. One thing, having now toured the whole ship, and yes, it smells a bit like cow poo. One thing that I do think is missing is the usage of a deodorant by the crew. Ah, yeah, deodorant didn't exist in the 1500s. Very true. That's probably why they're sticking probably to the accurate turtle spit. To, to... Turtle spit. <laughs> <laughs> it's natural. Yeah, I wish we went into that part of the ship. Captain's quarters. We've been absolutely scammed. Because I was looking forward to see what was in there. there it's not yeah, like so it's too. probably not as fancy as it's we think like, it is. It's not like in the movie. It was good, but a bit of a disappointment at the same time. I wasn't blown away as much as I thought I was going to be.